we'd show you inside the trailer since we've He's actually we. we, me and you. Since we uh actually just got this one. It's our first time taking it out. We had uh I forget the brand. What was the one that we had? Oh, uh, was see. I don't know, do you remember? Uh -huh. Okay. It was an AR one, I know that, but fifteen RB was the model. And it was 15 footer, I think. Oh, yeah, I think it was Starcraft. Well, it was kind of crappy. It was leaking on us out of the AC, so we ended up trading it in for a bigger one and a better one, which is Jayco. Um, 20... 22 footer. Alright, 22 footer. Um, we got our own little decor in here that I created for Zachary. Um, so here's the front door. Uh, comes with all the stuff that you need, you know, fire extinguisher, and then that's Zach's stuff and Hazel's little leash. Um, Zach's standing in the kitchen right now, which, um, hon, can you open that up? Like, this one actually what? comes with oh. a, uh, little oven, which we did not have in the other one, and a stovetop, which has three burners. We had two small ones. Yeah, just two, two, two propane ones before that were super small. Zach's taking the little sink cover off of there, um, so like when you're actually driving, you can close it up. Um, here's another little decor we have from Kayla, my best friend. Of course, you know, we gotta throw that in there because we're a little bit obsessed with our puppy. Um, also a microwave. Uh, to finish out the kitchen, we have this fridge. Um, well, this fridge is way better than what we had before, and we'll show you why. This is not connected to a freezer, which this is all we had before it was a freezer. Now we have pretty much a full fridge. And there's X ice cream up there. <laughs> um, so there's so much more room, especially because say we're, we're saying Monday through Friday. So we need all that storage for food. Um, and then down below, which is hard to see. Um, it's the little storage for like kitchen supplies um, so that we can cook. It definitely comes with a lot of storage, which is a plus. Um, off of the kitchen, there is the bathroom. Um, back here, it's really deep storage too. So for like towels and stuff, we don't have much going on right now because it's the first time using it. Um, and then we also have this mirror opens up another sink did not have that in the other one so going to the bathroom and then washing your hands and the kitchen sink is disgusting uh, and then the shower and it's a lot bigger than what we had before and it's all open this couch pops out so when we close it it's a little bit more tinier but of course when you're stopping somewhere you just pop it out this also lays down for people to sleep on we have this kitchenette area so we can eat in here and not have to take it down constantly but you can take it down for more sleeping area above again more storage and then back here is the bed uh, which we do not have to flip up to sleep on uh, we did not have that last time we had to use an air mattress and this is actually um, a legit bed so it's a lot more comfortable I would say it's about a queen size no, Zach yeah you know, Zach thinks it's a full also, there is storage under here. and then more storage so this th we definitely recommend Jayco for storage because we have too much storage to be honest we don't have a lot of stuff going on and these ones up here because we're just trying to think <laughs> I mean I'm sure we will once we like get into using it more in the summer because we bought it in i think november yeah just just before we shut down for the year yeah so we winterized it as soon as we got it but it did come with a tv too which is a plus because we don't have to keep taking ours in and out like we used to and then we have it for clothes and shoes up there so overall we really like the jayco yeah, um, it's been great so far and you know hazel this little beautiful dog here loves it too because she can jump on the couch it's pretty much like a home for us so if you're looking to get into trailers we definitely would recommend a Jayco yeah let me let me say too this Jayco feather um, I towed it with a Ram 1500 uh, it's not it's a great truck um, it is definitely not a tow truck by any means you know I've got wide 33s on it 
Um, it's it's the tow truck that I own, but other than the fact that it got nine miles per gallon the whole way down here, it towed this thing without any issues. So even a smaller truck or a, a, you know fifteen hundred F one fifty, anything that falls into that same category, no issues towing this thing whatsoever. Again, I didn't notice it was behind me. Um, I don't have a sway. I don't have anything to, to do sway control. So, I mean, it, it, it just felt great. And towing it. one other thing, too, we don't know if people are looking to get into trailers or RVs, whatever you want to do. We definitely recommend doing pull behinds because you can drop your trailer and then go sightsee. You don't have to take it with you because. The hookups, this is full hookup, so we have water connected to it and the uh, bathroom connected to it. So you'd have to keep hooking it up, to, mm. you know, taking it off. So it's up to, you know, what you prefer. It's also cheaper. Um, Absolutely. And yeah, definitely I mean, start smaller, too, because even though we didn't like it that much, we were able to work our way up to a bigger one. Yeah. And like, and, and what she's talking about mostly, so if you look... Uh, you can take them out there. Yeah, I'll do that. <clears throat> so essentially... If we go outside here, other than the fact that it's raining, so if you take a look over there, um, past my truck, that that RV right here has a truck behind it that it tows. So that's great and all, but my problem with it is with that camper setup, if the vehicle that's towing it, which is the van itself or that 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 piece there, if that breaks down, your whole house is stuck on the side of the road. With us this breaks down I go run another truck and I hook it back up no big deal if this breaks I unhook it and I drive this that's why I like to say completely separated if we can um, some of the other guys like if you get into a class A motorhome and, and that's kind of what what she was going with it like if you get in a class A like this one here you just I, I'm, I'm super scared of it breaking and not being able to get where I'm at and having to call something in like you know a rig hauler to come in and pick this thing up it's just it's just too much versus just getting a 1500 and towing this one um yeah that was kind of my comment i don't know i know it's a little bit hard to understand exactly where i'm going with it but try to explain it the best i can um and feel free to ask more questions about it in the comments section because i mean we we love we love being able to do this especially now that we're you know now even though we're young um i love that we're able to do this and it's definitely a cheap option. I mean, we just started learning about it too. We didn't really know much about. I mean, Zach probably knew more than I did, but once you have it, you get to know like what you want to use. I guess. You say. Yeah, I mean, and, and money-wise, it doesn't take that much to get into it. Like, I already had the truck. I mean, it was my truck. I was already paying for it no matter what. Um, the this camper did cost us a little bit more money, but um, I mean, you get into them for hundred hundred bucks. I mean, yeah, it's a loan, but. We get into it for a hundred bucks a month and, and really like a hundred bucks a month is a lot of money. But you know, when you compare it to everything that we're doing, it's it's not terrible. So let me grab her, she's supposed to be on a leash. But yeah, I mean hundred bucks a month isn't isn't gonna I don't wanna say it isn't gonna break the bank, because for some people it, it it definitely it will. And for us it definitely still hurts. But um but it's not as bad as it could be. We're not in, into it for three, four, five, six hundred dollars a month. And that's kind of why we wanted to go with this style of trailer. Because it is an affordable option for people who are on a budget. Um, and it's definitely, definitely worth it just to be able to get up and go wherever the hell you want. And, you know, see the country. Or see as far as you can drive, essentially. But that's all I got. Um, Joe, you got anything else you want to bring into right now? or? Alright, thanks.